Now, back out to Memorial Stadium for more of the Husker Countdown pregame show on 90.3 KRNU. Following a tough loss to BYU, the Nebraska Cornhuskers will look for their first win of the 2015 season as they welcome South Alabama to Memorial Stadium. South Alabama's football program is in its seventh season of existence and joined the Sun Belt Conference three years ago as they became BCS Bowl eligible. Nebraska coach Mike Riley has been impressed with what he's seen out of the Jaguars in his preparation thus far. Um, we're looking forward to uh, another go round this week. Uh, South Alabama has been uh, kind of interesting to watch from afar because they started football not that long ago. Uh, Joey Jones is the coach there, and I've known of him since he coached high school up in Birmingham. Uh, a former Alabama player who was a good fit for that school and has done a nice job. And, and they have accumulated uh, what I look at as an overall t uh, team that has a lot of speed, athleticism. South Alabama has finished the year at 500 the last two regular seasons with a record of 6-6. Six and six. Last year, they even made it to the Raycom Media Camellia Bowl but lost to Bowling Green 33-28. Still, the Jaguars have shown that they are not a team that will go down lightly. Just two years ago, they took Tennessee to the fourth quarter on the road and fell just short with a 31-24 loss. Saturday in Lincoln will be the biggest crowd that South Alabama has ever played in front of. But head coach Joey Jones does not believe that the crowd will play a huge factor. Our veterans will certainly be able to help our younger guys and uh, with our eyes on us wide, uh, looking at that stadium with 85,000 people, however many it is. And, uh, it's, it's usually that's just the first couple of minutes of the game. Um, and then our kids settle in to, to what they're doing on the field. Um, but uh, it's exciting, you know, I mean, it's just, we, we're going to treat it like uh, uh, we're going out to have fun and uh, we're going to go out there and, and win the ball game. That's our attitude. And, and uh, you know, we can't let outside uh, influences, you know, dictate how you're going to react. And so we've got to react to what we have to do on the field. A big theme for South Alabama's football team is transfers. There are a total of 24 transfers on the roster, several of which arrived from UAB following the termination of their football program. One such transfer is the quarterback, Cody Clements, who went 14 of 25 for 184 yards and two touchdowns in the win over Gardner-Webb last Saturday. The Jaguar offense ran the football 31 times while throwing it 25 times showing the balance and flexibility that they have as a unit. Um, offensively, uh, a pretty balanced team. Uh, quarterback is an accurate thrower with a good arm, and they have good speed in the skill positions, um, and their, their rushing, passing totals were very good in their first game. Defensively, South Alabama can be explosive. The Jaguars forced three turnovers last week versus Gardner-Webb as they allowed 309 yards, only 132 of which were passing yards. The Husker offense will have to run the ball if they want to break through this veteran South Alabama defense. Defensively, they they also run out of a 3-4 scheme like we just saw, and they'll they'll like we just saw they they will move it into a four-man front. Uh, they'll. They have a, an abundance of pressures. One of their favorites is, like BYU did uh, from time to time, bring the corner off the short side of the field. Uh, and they morph between playing a, a kind of a quarters coverage to uh, pressuring man-to-man -man defense. The Huskers must not look ahead to Miami next week, but rather focus on one game at a time in order to be successful this season. We, you know, I tell our team this is not baseball, it's not a three game series, so we only got one game to prepare for. Everything we got goes into this game, coaching staff and players. Husker fans can only hope that Coach Riley's words got through to his players. One game at a time will hopefully be the recipe for success throughout the season and the rest of Riley's career. For Husker Countdown, I'm Zach Peppers. Stick around. More pregame coverage is next on the University of Nebraska's radio station, 90.3 KRNU.